As the show after the first three episodes finally seems to have found its way, which seems to be a lawyer oriented format, will the fourth episode follow suit? And will we find out if there is an overarching enemy? If you're interested in finding out, then join me for this short review video. As I'm recording this video while the Fantasy Film Fest is running and I'm quite busy, I try to make it as short as possible. Let's jump into the synopsis. This week, Jen is approached by Wong again, who has an issue with a former student of the Kama Tash, who was kicked out after just one week and is now acting as a magician at Mystic Castle. To spice up his boring act, he is starting to use real magic and by that creating portals into other dimensions that not only endanger the people he is using as volunteers on stage, but also the whole universe is at stake. Because if you make a mistake there, it might have colossal consequences. That's why Wong is approaching Jen, asking her for a cease and desist against magician Donny Blaze, bringing in a witness who fell victim to that magic act because she was sent to a dungeon dimension doesn't seem to be the best of ideas because Madison is a always drunk party girl who was not doing the best while being on the witness stand. Therefore, Donny was allowed to practice his magic until a final ruling will be made, which might take a few weeks. Of course, things go wrong and then Donny is calling on Wong to help him, who in turn is calling on Jen to be of assist in her She-Hulk form which basically ends in both of them blackmailing Donny Blaze into accepting the cease and desist because otherwise they might not help him, which of course they would never do. Yet still, that is what happened. All the while, Jen was trying to get into the dating scene and finding out that way that she, in her normal persona, is not the most thought after person in the world. So she creates a profile as She-Hulk, where she meets a lot of people and no one seems to be really interested in her, but just in her strength until she meets one guy who then just leaves in the morning when he finds out that she actually is just Jen Walters and not the She-Hulk all the time. Okay, I think most of the things in the show we already discussed. So let's do a quick round table. The effects are a little bit better than the last episodes, but still are mostly unconvincing and appear to be quite rushed. The breaking the fourth wall is still annoying and doesn't further the plot at all. And one would ask themselves why they keep pushing the thing, but you might never find out. I just hope the rumor is wrong that they are planning to bring in Deadpool as a guest appearance and therefore preparing us with breaking the fourth wall, which is something the Merc with the mouth is always doing as well. But I think it would be the wrong show to introduce him. It might be possible though, because it also seems they want to retcon the Hulk and the She-Hulk to be mutants, as there was the issue of her blood being very special, which seems to be a genetic thing that allowed her to be a Hulk. So maybe they make her a mutant the same way as Mrs. Marvel. Not sure if I like the idea or not, but we will find out soon. With always drunk party girl Madison, they seem to bring in a love interest or at least a potential friend going forward for Wong, which could be a nice and funny idea, but it also might just be a side gag for one episode and we will never see her again. That also is something at this point you cannot even say if it is a good thing or not, because she is half amusing and half annoying, so it would be interesting to see which half would dominate if she would stay on on a recurring basis. With Jen dating, they could have created something that is very interesting for us and furthers her character and let us see deeper into it. But the only thing we learn is that she is a little bit depressed about the fact that She-Hulk is getting more attention than she as Jen, which of course would depress everyone. But that is about the extent of character development or character insight we gain in this episode. Personally, I think it is interesting that we see another court case and that we are actually following suit and that it is still a lawyer oriented show. But the letdown this week is that the case is not closed in court, but just outside as she forces Donnie into submission due to her strength and superhuman abilities, which is a little bit unsatisfying in a lawyer oriented setup. So I hope the show is not always just finishing up all cases outside of court, because that would be boring. I actually want to see cases that are connected to the supernatural and superhero world being discussed in court and closed there with some interesting outcomings, but so far it doesn't seem so. What also doesn't seem so is that there will be an overarching enemy. It seems to be like the villain of the week. 
and some weeks not even a real villain or a villain at all. So that means that the show really relies on the lawyer angle, so it better lean more into it and not just make the courtroom the setup for things to be handled outside of it. As for the rating, well, I was entertained, but I still think there are things that could be done better. So I'm going with a 7 out of 10, which means it's a good show. It's not great yet, but I hope it will get there. But the more episodes we see, the less I think it will actually become a really great or excellent show. But if it remains a good show, I'm also fine with that. The main thing remains that we don't see much character development going on with the main character, which is a pity because she seems to be an interesting one and it would be worth to find out more about her, but we will see if that will happen. What do you think? Did you like the show so far? Is it something you really look forward each week or is it something you think more of, ah, let's watch it, but it's not something that I have to see the minute it drops? Let me know what you think in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.